Okay, if you had to look at your kitchen pantry right now, is it like pretty, practical, a mess? <laughs> is it chaotic? Like, <laughs> these are the questions we're trying to ask today. Well, I love an organized pantry. That's like the one place in my house that is organized. Like, I like to show it off a little bit. So That's impressive. But if you need help to help us transform our food pantries into functional and beautiful spaces, we have our organization, organization expert, Melissa Adams, with Happy Organized here. And Lauren is back with us, who I hear also loves a very organized pantry. I do, everything is perfect and it's in mason jars and it looks great, but I'm excited to learn to see if I can do even more. Cause Sam, I'm like you, if someone comes over, I'll show them my house and I'll casually be like, oh, and here's the pantry. Yeah. I'll be, oh, I'll be like, does your kid need a snack? So I do it incognito and then I'm so satisfied. Gotta be sneaky. Do you like cooking? Is that why? I do like cooking and I feel like that's the reason that I like it organized because then if I'm looking for something, I know where it is. I'm not spending five minutes looking for it. Right. Especially when you have kids and everyone to feed on time, yes. having a pantry. So what is your like your your go to tips if someone right now opens up their pantry? It is chaotic. What would you tell them? Okay. I give you like three seconds on how to organize it, but my preference is to tell you how to keep it organized. Ooh. So okay. You want to take everything out, go through what is old, keep what you like, and put it back in bins that are appropriate, which I will come back to in a minute. Okay. But my number one tip is buying what you need for your week. So planning what your weekly meals are, right? Because then you're not over buying, which means you're not filling your pantry full of things that you are not using. So then you can find the things that you have. Along with that, I go with what I call pantry week. So like if your pantry is full and it's overflowing right now and you don't know what to do, go in there and pick your meals with what you have in your pantry. Do you have like 10 bags of pasta? Cause most mm. people do, I do too. Um, go in there and pick like, okay, we're gonna have pasta like two nights this week because I have tons of it and I need to have a little bit less in my pantry. 10 cans of beans, do three bean salad, right? So number one is buying what you need so you don't have tons of stuff in your pantry. And number two is using the things that you have in your pantry. Those are my first two tips. I find myself on like organization TikTok. I think that's where like 40 year olds are kind of like directed at times, right? You go on TikTok and everybody's like organizing and like the click, click, click. Do you know what I'm talking are about? Are you, is your pantry looking like no. that? No, well, not really, but it's <laughs> inspirational to me. So what are the things that I should buy to make it look like glossy and, and yes. nice? So when you're choosing product, you always want to sort through your pantry first because otherwise you get carried away and you buy all these things that you that seem really good, but then you get them and they don't work. Mm. So if you're gonna choose bins, you wanna make sure that it's the depth of your shelf Ooh, so that all your stuff pleasure. doesn't get stuck behind the shelf. Mm -hmm. You can get can organizers and I actually love a Lazy Susan. I'm obsessed with Lazy, Ooh, Su Lazy, Lazy Susan. Lazy Susan in there. I'm obsessed yes. with them, all your condiments. like honey and breakfast things, whatever you eat for breakfast all in one, or your like Asian sauces all on another. And I tend to do them in the corners because those are the spaces that get really frustrating to keep organized. I love a lazy season. But when, there are what's also, a lazy season. You don't you those circle things that twirl oh. and you can put a bunch of products on it and you twirl old. it. <laughs> you knew what it was, you just didn't know it had a name. Okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Right. Well, I guess I feel a little bit better. Thank I you. remember them from Chinese restaurants when I was a kid mm -hmm. because you would put the food yep. in the middle and it would like spin round. I didn't know they was such a thing until I started doing this, so don't worry. What, but what do you think about she, you? I heard mm. use mason jars. Yes, because I like to see what's on the inside. And I think you make great points because if your cabinet looks great on Sunday, that's one thing. But is it still clean on Friday mm. at the end of the week? And yes. that's where your tips come in. So if you're meticulous and detailed, which you probably are, it's great to decant things, right? But if you have lots going on and you're not going to maintain it, sometimes it's something that turns out being a little bit of a challenge. Right. I don't often suggest decanting flour. It's something that people seem to do, but if you're not baking all the time, then you forget what's in it. But if you are gonna do it, do you write like the date Labeling. on your, well, you can label, but then using a chalk marker, do you write the date that things go, like your sell by date on your jar? I put it on a piece of paper and I tape it on there. What? <laughs> she no, knows what she's doing, everybody. I wish I had photos to show it off. I'd love to show it off. You so, write it on a yeah. piece of paper. Mm -hmm. wow. Yes. That's amazing. Not many people do that. Not many people can maintain that. So it says a lot about you as a person, which it's is really lot. great. I would totally do that if my pantry was big enough, but. But a chalk, a piece of chalk, that's a yes. good way for other yeah, people to do chalk. it. Yeah, you can chalk. So then you just like rub it out instead of having to redo a label if you don't have a label. That's maker. easy. So it's another way of doing yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you can buy all sorts of jars to make it look pretty and your pantry can look pretty, but I would go with function over aesthetics. 
if it's not something that you normally do? Really quickly, because this is something that I struggle with, my potatoes. Do I keep them in a potato bag on the bottom of my pantry? Do I display them in a bowl? Like, what do I do? You do whatever <laughs> makes you happy, you what know? What do I do? So I would, what do I do? I like to be coached, tell me. I would put them in your, so everything that you want to use all the time, you want in direct line when you go in your pantry. So you always want them to be in the things that you see all the time. Okay. If your potatoes don't get used often, stick them right in front of you. Whatever bowl you want to put them in, put them in. It can be a plastic Tupperware, it can be something snazzy. A wooden bowl. It, it, a wooden yeah. bowl, doesn't matter what it is. I love it. Line of sight so you use them. I do have one more tip yes. that I love. If you have food that you're not using and it's sitting there, please donate it, give it to friends. Mm -hmm. My Great. son gets bored of the food that he's eating. Eating, so I'm always asking people, do you want these snacks? He's not eating. Give it away so it doesn't sit there. Let someone else eat it before it goes out of date. Great and now tips. we all have homework to do. We're all going to check back in next Thursday and see where our pantries are at. <laughs> Sounds good. Those mm -hmm. were great tips, truly, Melissa. I'm going to organize my snack drawer. <laughs> that I can commit to doing. If you want to learn more from Melissa, go to happyorganizeddenver.com, and we will be right back.